Okay, so here's what we're not going to do. We are not going to cap for what Nintendo had shown at this, uh, 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 what do you call it? <laughs> the, the Nintendo Direct. I am so tired of the cap. I am so tired of them getting away with every fucking thing. That shit is extra annoying. Extra annoying. The amount of disappointment that I've seen with Bayonetta 3. I don't even know why they even have Bayonetta. Is it, are they just trying to save face? Is, is this what they're doing? Is saving face? I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, because everyone knows on a Switch, Nintendo fans are always going to buy either Monster Hunter or Nintendo fucking products. I guess. I, I don't know. But regardless of the matter, as you can see on the left, you got Bayonetta and Project Eve. Now, I mentioned I mentioned about Project Eve. I wanted to kind of compare the two because at first I was like, you know, that kind of looked like a little Bayonetta thing going on. By the way, the Chinese are killing it with these games nowadays. They, they bust an ass. But Nintendo Direct, and, and I guess I'm not going to sit there and get mad at Nintendo fans for liking what they like i get it i get it i'm not even gonna get mad at what they like because that's that's not fair but me personally as a person that they're tr I, you already got the nintendo fans you should be selling to actual new people and this doesn't look good there's a lot that they've taken it's this is a downgrade from what i can see is a downgrade um she is not as scantily clad anymore she got you know basically i don't know what the fuck it is now she got a dress on they covered that up because you know either nintendo or just being woke I, I don't fucking know i know that there was a problem with uh the character from project eve people were pissed off that you can see her whole coochie suit you know what i mean as she's doing flips and shit like that and you know people were trying to make a stand on that shit too i'm like come on people yo yo you guys are so fucking ridiculous regardless of the matter that was a terrible showing. A lot of people are just disappointed with what's going on with Bayonetta 3. It, it's clearly limited on the Nintendo Switch. It's clearly limited. You can't not say that it's not limited. When you got games like Project Eve that look absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, like, beautiful up there with the god of wars up there with you know the horizons and stuff like that we're not talking about just because you can see you know you, you know coochie lips and ass cheeks it just looks like a dope ass game and when you can see what they could do with the ps5 shit they probably could have done very similar to the ps4 and then you get bayonetta which is like neutered it doesn't look that great you know what I'm saying? It looks like a fucking. It looks like a PlayStation Portable game, not Vita, but portable, like a what is it? Almost 20 years ago type shit. Almost fucking 18, 17, 16 years ago type game. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. And I'm curious to see what people like from regular news publications, influencers. I'm curious to see what they think about what they're going to say about this are they going to be just like nostalgia you know what i mean stuck with the whole nostalgia like oh you know i remember when bayonetta was good when you clearly have a game like this fucking project eve that is doing what bayonetta is doing it's, except for her little sassy attitude i do like you know the character from bayonetta i like her sassy attitude but still it just it play it looks like it plays better it's a bigger spectacle it's a bigger spectacle, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of fucking cosmic craziness is going on, and it looks like it plays well, and it's graphically beautiful, and you get this game that looks like it was released on the PS2. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's... Does anyone care? Like, is, it, are you bothered by this? This looks bad. Shit, even fucking the Kirby game looked like shit. You know what I mean? We got... You got Kana. You know, I mean, I'm sure you guys seen that shit. You got Kana looking like what it looked like. And then you have fucking this Kirby thing that looks even worse. It's like the games, <coughs> excuse me, are getting even worse graphically on the Switch. 
which you guys, your fanboys for Nintendo should have been asking for is, bruh, where's fucking Switch Part 2? I don't like who, like, was there somebody really asking for this? This, this is disappointing. You know, everybody knows that with Bayonetta, her hair was her outfit. So when she did things, it was like slide off of her body and stuff. Now she got like a fucking loincloth. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, it, was this in direct response to people saying, oh, I can see her coochie lips. The, the main protagonist from Project E. Was this, that was that what this was? I don't fucking know. But I know I'm really disappointed. <laughs> you know, if they if there was a case for uh the switch, this ain't it. This ain't it, fam. This is not it, man. Like she has a full on dress. Ain't nothing sexy about that shit. Oh, oh, that's an insult thing. You want her to be sexy. It was like that in the old games. You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't she just have jeans on? Jeans and a fucking t shirt. You know what I mean? If you want to really do that. But more importantly, because I feel like the style has been hampered. More importantly, this isn't it. Like it looks bad. It looks bad in a in a in a generation with ray tracing and fucking 4K and 8K and DSLL and all of the other shit. This is the best that you can do. And then people are excited for this. I don't know, man. This ain't it for me, man. But let me know in the comments what you guys liked or disliked about the video. And if you liked it, just fucking sub will be appreciated. I'm out.